Hey guys, this is the Derpy Kitten, and today we are doing uh, the shunting shells scenario for the Doncaster Works. So, this is actually for a school project, uh, and I've never actually done a train simulator video before, so hope you like it. The loading screens in this game are quite long. Okay, so today we are driving the Class 03 in Doncaster Works. I won't be doing much uh, stuff in the cab because it's quite hard to do. Although, this locomotive it actually features manual shifting gears, which is fun. If you're wanting to drive this for yourself, it's E to change up a gear, and Shift E to change down. D to reduce throttle, A to increase, and uh, <coughs> I think it's inverted comma to brake and semicolon to uh, release the brakes. So I'm just going to quickly couple to these carriages. I have auto coupling on, so I don't need to go into the menus. Now we'll stick the reverser in reverse. Release the brakes, uh, have a look at the map. Change that. And off we go! Oh yeah, just, uh, this is the cab. Stick the line. Uh, so here's your gear shifter. Uh, here's your uh, locomotive brake, this is your train brake, throttle, reverser, and horn. So this route is actually extremely cheap, it's only £5.99, and it actually includes a DLC, the European Local and Asset Pack which usually costs £12, so you're getting a lot in this, although it's only just the Doncaster Yard. Only problem is, coupling to these cars in here, sometimes it doesn't like to do that. And I need to go into the menu and couple it a few times. So now I'm going to put it into forward, go back into gear one, release the brakes and apply throttle. Once I couple to these, I'll give you a full view of the route. When I say route, it's basically just the yard and the station, but. Forgetting to change gears. <laughs> Pretty sure it isn't healthy for carriages to bend like that. There's a lot of little squeaking sounds going on here. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that. Oh well, yeah, and to sound the horn uh, remotely, it's spacebar. Which, of course, is my favourite button in this game. Next video I'll be doing will probably be on another route I have. It's called the Norfolk Southern Coal District, which, of course, you can guess is mainly coal trains. Stopped short once again. So I need to go into this menu and click this a couple times. And maybe reverse a bit. Possibly that will help. Not very healthy sounding sounds, but... Oh come on! 
Hasn't happened this many times before. Uh, let me switch that. Go! And stop, see if I can get rid of this objective now. Please? inside the carriages now. One, two, uh, one, two, three, four. So it is over here that I need to be. There we go. And then a couple again. What has just happened? There we go. Now the other way. Oh, that took longer than it should have. It's quite weird to see this dinky little thing eight carriages. Still in the carriage shops, Jesus. Probably shouldn't be going round that corner at ten miles an hour, but it's fine. I've actually entered into a giveaway by one of my Train Simulator YouTubers that I watch. Um, he's very generous, let's just say that. I want it on scrap line 3. Oh yeah, I was going to give you the full view of the map. This is it. <laughs> just this yard. behind the station there. But anyway, we go... Forwards, possibly. Yes. Yeah, if you can't tell, uh, well, can you tell why this scenario is called shunting shells? It's a cute little thing. Oh, yeah, another feature that this thing has. It's got mirrored. Controls, so you can stand over there and control this one. Like so. Ah, I guess it doesn't work in game. It's an old Don't expect it to be able to do everything. Oh yeah, in the cab, uh, this little sheet tells you when to change gears. So, that's very useful. Of course, the scrap lines are my favourite place in this map because they just look awesome. What is that wailing sound? That's weird. Probably machines or something. Oh yeah, over here there's a cool little detail. I guess that's the wailing sound that I was hearing. Yeah, this isn't the fastest thing in the world. good thing about uh, standard scenarios though is that you can't get done for speeding which is definitely good in my case you can 
can see all those dead engines over here. Some really nice details. We to the horn there. And brakes. The brakes of these carriages are actually amazing. Class 20 shell. Class 45, I think. A couple. I have done so. Why are you not liking me? Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah. Gear 1. Wait until we pass this point. At least we get a bit faster when we've only got four coaches. Yeah, this route you do have to be careful with all your uh, point switches and stuff like that. Because there is a lot of them. And they're all manual. My brakes again. Switch those over. Switch that for later on. Oh yeah, and it's W and S to change the reverse direction. Class 55, class 47. I think those are like class 07 or something? No, that's the 07. I think those are 5s, class 5s. Another class 03, and I have no idea what that thing is. Yeah, all the dead rolling stock you get with this room is just amazing. I know this is a bit lengthy, but... This video is going to be one of my longest, I think. As I do not have any editing software on my computer, so there is no chance in me being able to cut any of this out. Uncouple. Scrapple and approach. Oh, you're over here. We have a class 47 that was going to be scrapped. However, we can think we it can be rescued instead. So shunt it to the main locomotive shed to be repaired. Okie dokie. When you're just a little locomotive, you don't have to stick it to first, and second, and third every time. You can just stick it whatever speed you want to go. No, oh, never mind. I forgot to change that. Whoopsie daisies. It does take a little while for the brakes to release on this thing. It is possible to change all the points and stuff uh, manually, but I prefer not to, as it is just a hassle. An unnecessary hassle. Reverse again. Gear 3. Go. Now we're going the right way. More 
class 37, I think that is. Class 37, BR Green. It shall be. Google Hangouts message. Always getting interrupted by them. Now, this uh, locomotive that I've just coupled here it may seem fine to the untrained eye, but if you flip it around here, it's a bit droopy. Just to like how that one over there has been practically bent in half. Don't forget to change gears, eh? That's not good. It's going to take this video so long to get uploaded to my Google Drive. Because I'm, of course, not recording this on the Chromebooks, as I have not used the Chromebooks basically since the start of the lockdown. Because they are bad. For some reason, I, I don't think this has working brakes, so I have to engage the brakes well before the place I want to stop. Quite Whoa, we're almost on the speed limit. I'm just trying to figure out what scenario I would do if I did do a video on the NS Coal District and what train I would drive. Quite a few for that route. I have spent a lot of money on this game. Maybe I should do the Feather River Canyon. Continue breaking. Why did I release the brakes? Okay, cool. Stopped on the turntable. Now we have to... As you can probably tell, I've done this scenario many, many a time. Okay, now we're going to shut it forward. Go on the cab for this one. I could control everything with my mouse, but it's a pain. It's weird how this thing is gone. You can't funnel for the exhaust. Go oh, about the marker lights. There's Doncaster Station over there. Quite a big one, I think. Oh, look how good the physics in this game are. I just put my camera through a building. Okay, this video's a bit longer than I imagined. 19 minutes so far. Rated for 15 minutes. Class 43 HST over there with uh, class 47 and BR Green attached to it. Okay, now take the throttle off. Take it into neutral and apply brakes. Toot the horn a few times, cause you know, why not? Release said brakes. Oh, 
wow, my computer is working, or whirring away. God, I can't English. For this video, I was originally going to do a free roam scenario, as I have a partly made checklist for what I was going to do. But then I decided, nah, stuff, I'll just do a pre made one. Uh, where am I wanting to go? I want on this track. Uh, everything seems to be set already. That's nice. In America, they have tons of different horn combinations to basically inform people of what you're about to do. I think like two short toots is I'm going to move forward. Uh, three short toots as I'm going to move backwards. When they come up to uh, crossing, uh, I think it's like too long a short and then basically blow the horn until they've passed the crossing. Of course, uh, there's quiet zones, which is residential areas and stuff where you're not allowed to do that. The good thing with the American trains is their bells, which are quite cool. Now, here is the interesting bit. Um, so I'll be going down that track. And you see that yellow thing over there? That is my bit of track that I need. So I pass this switch, so I press Shift G, and that will bring the traverser over to my track and hopefully it gets here in time. And I shall be putting my locomotive in the main jacks. Do It doesn't say on this little bar down here, but the speed limit inside the shed's five miles an hour, which is too slow in my opinion. Hopefully you've made it through this video. I guess you will have had to if you actually worked through the school, or you just say, hey, he made a video, wow. So amazing. But yeah, I really do hope that you've enjoyed this video, as I haven't uploaded in about a year, and I just couldn't really be bothered doing that, because you know me, I am one of the laziest people in S2. Now what was that back there? Class 47 large logo. Class 55 BR Green, Class 37, Class 37. Cool. And now I can just stop right here. And let's stop the engine as well. For some reason, the exhaust is still there. Oh, I think that's those two engines going off. Is that me done? Question mark? There we go. The sink for the 47. Let's see what we can do with her. Scenario complete. 0 0.2 at the time. Ah. Two miles I did there. So guys, hope you all made it to the end. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope it was good enough for you at uh, the school. Um, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. And I shall see you in the next one. Derpy Kitten, out.